Police arrived here at Old National Bank within minutes yesterday, killing the gunman in a shootout. Still, five people are dead and several others remain in the hospital now. A workplace shooting here at Old National Bank in Louisville, Kentucky. It had bank employees locking themselves in bathrooms and reportedly hiding in the vault. We heard a click and the lady next to me turned around and said, what the hell? And then he just started shooting. The shooter, 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon, had an AR-15 rifle, according to Louisville's mayor. Sources tell ABC News Sturgeon had learned he was about to be fired and left a note indicating he planned to shoot up the bank. Two former bank employees say they knew the gunman. But they say they saw no red flags. It's mind-boggling to hear who did it. Authorities say officers arrived three minutes after being dispatched and exchanged gunfire with the shooter, killing him. Among those critically injured, rookie officer Nicholas Wilt. Officials say he was shot in the head and had brain surgery. I just swore him in and his family was there to witness his journey to become a police officer. The five dead identified as Jim Tut. Josh Barrick, Juliana Farmer, Deanna Eckert, and Tommy Elliott, a close friend of Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir. It's one of the people I talk to most in the world. The Louisville community gathered for a vigil following the 15th mass shooting in the U.S. just this month. Until we start taking concrete steps that back up our prayers and our professions and our political statements, we're going to continue to stand here and say, here we go again. You can see the shattered glass here at the bank has now been boarded up. Former employees we talked to described the bank as a family atmosphere. The CEO of Old National Bank is now here in Louisville. He says there are no words to adequately describe the sadness and devastation following this tragedy. Lindsay Watts, ABC News, Louisville. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.